Hello everybody, I am Chevy. Welcome to my garage. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, shop safety and we're going to build a tool to help us be a little safer in the shop and that tool is a push block. If you don't know what a push block is, stick with me. I'll explain it to you. It's a very quick and simple shop project. Anybody could make this. So if you don't know what a push block is, it's essentially a tool that's used to help push material through a tool. And I should have had one for years uh, to use when using a dado stack or cutting uh, rabbits on my table saw or on my router. I've just never used one and I've been lucky so far. But I recently picked this up on Craigslist. This is a jointer. A jointer essentially is a flat surface with a wide cutting head an outfeed table and the purpose of this tool is if you take a board that is not flat and you run it through the jointer it will shave off a small amount of the surface and make the surface perfectly flat well as you can imagine if this is spinning and for some reason I don't have the guard on here if it's spinning and I push this through and say my thumb gets down here or my hand slips off it is very easy to get severely injured on these blades as they spin. I put my workpiece down there, I use my push block, which has a grippy surface on the bottom, and I use that to push the material through the blades. So you can buy these very inexpensively, but why buy it if we can make it? I've got a cut off piece of uh, half inch plywood and a mouse pad, just a cheap mouse pad uh, that I found in the trash. This is awkward. I don't have a joiner yet. <laughs> and this board isn't straight. So, we gotta straighten it up somehow. And that's fairly simple. Let me show you what we'll do. Okay, no joiner, no problem. I got this flat uh, piece of OSB that I know is flat on this side. I checked it. And I've got my board, and I want to rip uh, this edge straight. So what we need to do is put the flat edge out on my OSB, and we're just going to screw the two together. Now we just take this over to the table saw and true it up. So now that we have a clean face, we put that up against our fence and we'll be able to rip a straight edge, basically jointing on the table saw. Just like that.
Thanks for sticking around and watching this whole video. As you can see, the push block is an essential tool when using a power tool that could potentially maim you permanently. I used a mouse pad here. I had some ideas in one of my last videos. I used uh, the shelf paper, you know, the shelf liner, which is rubbery and grippy, and I use this for cutting holes on a router or um, just to hold a piece of material down while I'm sanding. I thought about using that here and either stapling or gluing it on, but I thought it would be more difficult to attach this than it would to use just a mouse pad because the mouse pad itself is kind of porous and would absorb the glue easier. So, super simple project to make. You could make this handle just a square. You could even do it in three pieces, just cut a couple of blocks and a straight across piece. You don't have to do it the way I did it here, but you should always, always, always be safe. Use a push block when required. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below and I will address them. Let me know if you want to do more shop videos or more build videos. I'm up for either. We're going to build this channel together. Please. Hello everybody, I am Chevy. Welcome to my garage. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, 